No. All right, Tate, so uh, you guys come away with a result tonight against uh, Perennial Power Akron, and uh, ultimately, uh, at the end of the night, you guys still control your destiny, still in first place uh, with one match to go. Just talk about, I guess, uh, the, just the overall match tonight and your feelings. Um, I thought it was really hard, hardly fought. Um, I also thought that, I mean, every time Akron comes to town, you know what they have. They have future pros, and it's just that, that, that much more we have to put into the game, and I think we did that tonight, and we got a good, pretty good result. Um, talk about that first goal that you scored. Um, you know, how early did you see that play developing? And just talk about uh, what happened on that play. Um, I was kind of in the back and I saw it get headed out and Chris was, Chris was hunting it and I just told Lee because I saw the goalie out before and I just tried to chip it over the goalie and that's what happened and it was, it was pretty good. And then they came back and tied it but pretty much right away you guys retook the lead. You kind of started that play with the diagonal ball. Just I guess talk, talk about that goal as well. Um, I don't know. My teammates just found me in a good spot and we worked so hard about getting hard runs into the box and I think... Chris got a flick on my ball, and then Flynn obviously finished it off. So I mean, it's just a good team goal, and I thought, I thought all night we were a team and played very well as a as a unit. And then uh, you know, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it was two to two at the half, and stayed that way. And um, they may have had more of the possession, but it felt like you guys were dangerous. You you would kind of kind of wait for your chances, and when they came, it felt, just felt like both teams had some dangerous chances. I mean, maybe if if somebody looks at the final. You know, the possession time probably was in their favor, but sure. I mean, it, it felt like you guys were dangerous as well. Um, yeah, coming into to this game, we knew they were going to have the ball. I mean, that's their style, but we're comfortable without it. And I mean, we can counter, we can sit in and defend and counter. And obviously, you look behind me, it's 2-2 it's two -two at the end of the day. So, I mean, I, I think we came out on top on this one. And then you guys, you know, you talk about uh, every game being a championship game. Well, uh, you've basically you played tonight a match for first place and then you know, next weekend it really is a championship game. I mean, BG plays Buffalo, and the winner is uh, gets to call themselves MAC champions. I guess just just talk about that opportunity and what you're looking forward to here this next um, week. I mean, BG hasn't been MAC champions since 19 in the 1990s. So I mean, what we're what we'd be doing here is huge. I mean, Akron's won it the last 10 times or so. So I mean, to not to not have it the tournament at Akron is is massive, and it's going to be different for all the teams. Um, into the MAC tournament coming to here to play. So I mean, I mean, um, it's just everything's to play for against Buffalo. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.